Vention sent over their wireless HDMI for us to test and see what limitations we can figure out from this device. Is it a game changer? How does it hold up against screen mirroring? That we will answer in today's video. But I think one of the coolest features of this device is you being able to have an extra monitor in a separate room from your PC without any cables. Hi, I'm Daniel with the B-Boy Harnero team and we've been reviewing tech items like keyboards, mice, and audio gear since 2019. Consider subscribing so you're always updated with our new videos and tech updates. We're expanding our range of items that we review on our channel so you'll start to see more of these reviews in the future. Now, back to the Vention Wireless HDMI. This outputs a total maximum bandwidth of 4K at 30Hz. Not only does this wirelessly output video, it also outputs audio so you may freely use your monitor speakers or TV speakers. Inside the box, you get two devices, which is the transmitter and the receiver where the receiver has an HDMI output that you can connect to a monitor or a TV. The transmitter has a USB-C output which connects to your PC or laptop. Then when setting it up, it's basically just the same as choosing to activate a new monitor as if you were connected wired. The transmitter and receiver connect via a 5 GHz frequency which is mostly not used by Wi-Fi routers. As most Wi-Fi routers transmit via 2.4 GHz signal, so this should not cause any interference in most cases. However, I personally use a 5 GHz frequency in my home network, so we'll see if this causes any issues. The receiver is powered by a 5 volt 2 ampere cable, which should terminate to a power brick that outputs the same 5 volts 2 amperes. As for the transmitter, it will pull power from your computer, but luckily this has a 60 watt power delivery pass through in case this is plugged on a USB C multipurpose port. It's really cool that inside the box, you also get a thick HDMI cable and a USB-C cable for the receiver. Though you do not get a power brick, so that you will have to provide for yourself. I have here a 140 watt power brick from Vention. Just a quick shout out, we also reviewed this on my channel. So upon unboxing, I immediately attached all necessary cables and it's pretty much plug and play. No software needs to be downloaded or installed. Again, it works just as if you were connected wired. I know what you're thinking, can I game with it? Actually, you can, but only light games. Casual games to competitive games is not very playable with this setup due to the split-second delay of the wireless HDMI. So if you play games that are time-sensitive where response time is crucial, then this may not be the best setup for you. However, if you play card games or other games that do not require fast responses, then this would do just fine. For me personally, I see this as a way to be able to monitor my other PC that's on another table or even in another room. I game on one and I work on the other, so this will allow me to see the other PC screen even through a wall. So I did test its transmission range and it's pretty long with an advertised 50 meter unobstructed range. But I also tested this behind a wall and it was still able to transmit my screen pretty well. I also have a 5 GHz frequency activated in my home network and this did not cause any issues. During my tests, I did notice heat build up on the transmitter. However, this seems to have a heat dissipating design to it which allows for airflow within the device. Overall, heat wasn't an issue with the transmission. So here in our setup, I have here a power bank that powers both the monitor and the receiver. Now, I also have here a 2.4 gigahertz connected mouse and a keyboard. Basically, all our peripherals right here are connected wireless. Of course, it's virtually wireless because there are still wires connected to the power bank. So right now, I'm using a 1080p monitor and I noticed that with a 1080p resolution, the delay is greatly reduced. A while ago, I was testing this in a 4K setup and the 4K TV that we had a while ago had a lot of delay in it, but not here. In fact, I could game in this, but I still do feel some level of delay. All right, guys, that concludes our review for today. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll leave links in the description on where to get your HDMI, wireless HDMI to be precise.